All right, and as you can tell by our steam, uh, we are ready to sparge here. We've lost quite a bit of daylight here. Uh, so here's basically what we have accomplished right now. It took a little bit of setting up. Uh, here is our boil kettle, our brew kettle, so to speak, uh, which is attached to this valve here. And I have a line running to it because you want to eliminate splashing in this stage of the game. If you splash while the wort is still hot, uh, wort is another word for the uh, liquid that's about to come out of the uh, grains. Uh, if you splash around and introduce a lot of oxygen at that point, you can create some very cardboard kind of stale flavors with that. So we're trying to eliminate the splashing with this tubing. Uh, I'm going to attach this piece right here to kind of help distribute the water that's going to come out of my the now uh, hot liquor tank is what this is being utilized for. I have about four gallons of water that has been heated up well above 180 degrees to kind of help rinse these grains. So I'm going to keep an even flow coming out as well as in to this. So it's going to kind of create a, a, a rinse for these grains. And uh, once I achieve the right uh, volume, which I'm shooting for about, oh, I'm hoping for at least six gallons here. Because uh, I'm going to lose at least, well, maybe six and a half to seven gallons. I'm going to take a gravity reading towards the end of the sparge uh, so that I know that uh, we're going to end up at the right uh, alcohol volume. So here we go. I'm just going to start it over here with just a very slow trickle. And I'm going to open it up over here.